For this client, what we're going to do is we previously have had an undercut. We've been undercutting his hair the last few times. So what we're going to do this time, we've had our consultation from the back of the ear back. We're going to blend it all in. And then on the opposite side, what we're going to do over here is we're going to we're going to fade it up with our, our longer attachment with a half inch or three eighths of an three eighths of an inch. And then we're going to do clipper over comb up to the part. He doesn't like it so short where he sees skin. He just likes it a little bit rounded in at the top so it doesn't stick out too much. And then we're going to cut the part in. Uh, we want to do a nice taper around the edges. And at the end, we're going to use a nice uh, stronghold pomade to uh, slick it all back and give him a, um, a firm hold for the day and a nice high shine. So to start out, I'm going to start out on the top. And what I'm going to do is in order to, to get that blend, and I know I want that blend at the back of the ear and leave the hair longer towards the front, I'm going to over direct all the hair towards the back of the ear on the top. And when I'm on the side, I'm going to over direct all the hair towards the back of the ear when I start. It's going to leave the front longer, so the front's going to hang down. Or when he brushes it all straight back, we're going to have what I, what I like to call a a visual blend, but not necessarily a technical blend. In other words, when you look at it to the eye, it's going to look like everything is blended in. But if you were to lift it up, we're going to have a little bit of an undercut in the front because of the over direction. I'm going to pull that hair all the way back to the back of the ear. I'm going to take about an inch to an inch and a half off. And I don't want to cut too far past my center knuckle. I'm using a traveling guide which means I don't let go of the hair. I keep good tension on the hair with my pinky on the head and a firm grip with my two fingers. Then when I comb, when I comb in and I rotate the comb, see how it's still holding the hair like that? I still have a firm grip and then I reach my hands underneath. So it's two quick moves. And you can see right through that, you can see your guide looking right through. And that's about as far as I want to go, but I still have to connect it to the back. Now when we look at the back, you can see how it wants to jump out. He's got a pretty bad uh, calic or, um, or pivot back there where it wants to stick up. So now this traveling guide becomes stationary. I still hold the hair. I comb across the back where his hair parts naturally in the back. You can see that across the bottom. I hold it with my thumb and then I take the comb and I pull it all straight up to where I had it before. And now you can see when I lift it up, you can see my previous cut and, and you can see what needs to be cut. You can see the guide. So then we just go through and we cut that. Okay, then I drop the hair and now I'm gonna do a section on the right and a section on the left. So now I'm gonna pick it up on the right here and bring it all the way back to the back of the ear. <clears throat> I'm going to locate, locate my center guide. Now what I like to do is now you can see that real easy. Now we have a clear guide right there from the center. When I pick the hair up again, we have a clear guide right from the center. This I'm not worried about because I'm pulling that from the other side. And I have a guide underneath. And now we're going to start on the side here. So now what we, I want to do, again, as I said before on top, if we over directed the top to the back of the ear, we want to do the same thing on the sides. So here we are right to the back of the ear. Now since we're blending it, don't let all that scare you. We have our top guide here. We have our fingers at, at parallel to the side of the head and perpendicular to the floor. And we don't cut past our center knuckle. Now that serves as our guide on the side and that's going to travel all the way around to the back. And we just keep working that around. One small section at a time so you see so it's paper thin and you can see your guide all the way through. Very small sections. Never drop the hair. And then as we get closer to the crown or the pivot area, 
what I want to do here, again, is I don't want to go right to it and cut because the hair is going to stick out. So when I get close, I want to stop my fingers there and that traveling guide becomes stationary. I'm going to comb the hair from the other side back to it and blend it in that way. So all the hair combs over nice like that. And it all, you can see now it all blends in. If I was to cut right there by the crown, the hair would stick straight out there. So now when I brush the hair back on the side, you can see we have our blend started behind the ear and that front hair hangs down except for when we brush it back. And just like layering the top, we want to stop before we get to we, we, that traveling guide becomes a stationary guide before we get to the crown, which you can see there. We're going to pull it to that. We're going to over direct it to the middle of the head. And then as I'm looking, if we miss anything, we can just do a little light shear over comb work but only towards the back of the ear. That's where we're going to stop. And that's going to blend us into the top. And now, now the top is prepared for us, you know, to start on the top and work our way down to doing the taper around the edges. So we remove all that bulk on the top. So now, especially in the back, when we go in with our clipper, we can clearly see our guide and we're not going to get caught in all that hair. So now that we have the top done, we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to redampen the hair, comb it into place and move on to the uh, clipper work. Are you a member of howtocuthair.tv? Learn the art of men's barbering from third generation master barber Greg Zorian in full HD 24 seven from anywhere in the world. Sign up for your free membership and learn how to increase your efficiency and make more money behind the chair. HowToCutHair.tv So I want to angle the uh, blade out just a little bit and we're going to do a little bit of clipper over comb work there to blend that into the, the top area. So it's important we go really slow with the clipper and let that clipper work. So when you go really slow and use a scooping motion, it cuts as we pull away from the head. So we're not going to have too much blending to do. Obviously with hair that grows straight out from the side of the head, we're always going to have some, some, somewhat of blending to do. Especially on the sides. In the back, we're dealing with more hair, so there's more weight to hold it down. So just one panel at a time, and the slower you move the clipper, the better your blend is going to be and the more hair you're going to remove. So we're starting out with a three and three quarter, which cuts the hair to a half an inch, and then we're going to drop down to a three eighths of an inch, which is a three and a half, about halfway up. So I'm going to use an underhand grip so when I'm above the round of the head or the parietal area I always like to use the underhand grip so my, my posture and my body is in alignment. Now as I'm doing this and blending it in I'm also going to switch back to the overhand grip and start my and, and continue on with the taper. I'm just going to use the tip of the blade and use a scooping motion. Tip of the blade and a scooping motion. A 45 degree angle around the edges. So there's our scooping motion. 45 degree angle through the temple area. And then we're going to continue on with the blend around the back. Here we're going to bend the head down just a little so we can see what we're doing. Now on the bottom, I want to make sure that I keep this blade completely parallel to the floor, just like this. So we don't want to round those corners. We want a nice sharp diagonal line on the corners. 
Okay, so I'm starting the taper and I'm also doing my blend at the same time. Now as I get close to the top, I'm just gonna take, I'm gonna take the tip of the blade and just come across at a diagonal. Now on the bottom, just like before, we're gonna bend the head down. We want the blade parallel to the floor. And we're gonna use that same scooping motion Now this requires a little bit of work, it's really thick and heavy in the center, so we really want to work on that, taper that out. So that's in the open position. See a heavy spot there, I'm going to take the corner of the blade and just chip into it a little bit at a 45 degree angle, so that lightens that up. Now I'm going to close it halfway and not go as high. Okay, now I need to reopen it because we have a heavy spot here. And then I'm going to come at it at this angle here. And make a nice line, a nice outline there. Okay, the beauty of this system, working from the top down and working through all our blades, is by the time we get to our trimmer or to our outliner, there's nothing left to do but just clean up the fuzz on the neck and line up the outline on the neck. We're not doing any clipper over comb work. This is a very fine blade, so if we cut it, if we do any clipper over comb work with this or cut in too far, we're going to make, make a, a severe line of demarcation that's going to be very difficult to blend out. Okay, so that brings us to the front of the ear. So now we're going to turn the clipper upside down. So we cut at two different angles and that's going to give us a closer, a closer cut. So what we didn't get at the other angle, we're going to get at this angle. And then what we don't get this, what, with this we'll get with the straight edge. Okay, so right now there's one spot that the hair's not coming off that easily, so what I'm doing with my middle finger is stretching the skin so I can get in there and it'll cut the hair better. Okay, so now we'll put our trimmer down and I'm gonna use a small lightweight razor and what I want to do is I want to pull this way, I want to stretch the skin this way and use very short strokes. Okay, we don't have to press, we just need to stretch the skin. Stretching the skin is what's going to give you a close shave. Okay, and then we're going to go until we get to the front of the ear. Okay, now this piece here I don't like, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shave that. So I don't want to give them a hard outline there, but I just want to get it even with the, with the, rest, of, with the rest of the front there. Introducing Zorian of New York, premium grooming products for the modern man, designed by third generation master barber, Greg Zorian. Made in the USA and not tested on animals, each of our styling products is infused with natural ingredients and features light, clean fragrances. Our two-in-one shampoo and conditioner is sulfate and paraben-free and color safe. Do you own a barbershop or salon, rent a chair, or run a school? Find out how we support our retailers with world-class barbering education and product knowledge training. We're currently accepting applications for wholesale accounts and invite you to apply on our website. Zorian of New York. So now we're going to move on to styling uh, the client's hair. So what we want to do is we want to dry it first. We're going to dry it. His hair grows straight forward. So we're going to dry it straight forward in the direction that it grows. Then we're going to dry it to the side and then we're going to dry it back. And when we dry it back, I want to, I want to direct the heat right to the roots. So what that's going to do is that's going to lock it into place so it goes back. 
Um, the reason why we're going to dry it completely, we're using a Stronghold water-based pomade today. And uh, what, what that does is being water-based, if you uh, are water-based water and water-soluble, is that if there's too much dampness or moisture in the hair, it's going to take away from the hold. Um, but we want to have it shiny. So the pomade will give it shine even if the hair is dry. So we want to make sure that the hair is completely dry to get the most out of the product. So um, we're going to start drying it. I like to use one of these nozzles so I can really direct the heat and a strong hair dryer. We just finished drying the hair and as you can see just with our fingers and pulling the hair back when you dry the hair correctly as thick and straight as his hair is with a forward growth pattern you can still see how it just kind of stays back on its own which is pretty amazing for hair like this. But um, anyway we're going to go ahead and put a, a, that thick water soluble pomade in. We're going to use a, an, an ample amount and we're going to rub it all the way through right down to the, right down to the roots. But first you want to really rub it in your hands good and emulsify it good in your hands so it doesn't go in clumpy at all. So I start out on the top and then after that what I do is I work it right down into the roots. I want to get it all the way through. And then when you're working with a heavy pomade, what I find, a heavy pomade and thick hair, which works best to comb it through, is a, a, really, a really wide, heavy-duty comb. It gives it the same illusion as uh, you just uh, finger combed your hair. So we're going to go to the side. And then back a little bit. Up a little bit in the front and back. Push it forward. And then what you'll notice is when you're doing that, if you see anything, just going to do one final touch, a little fine tuning right here. We see a few little loose hairs on this side. Just going to use the tip of the scissor for that. Okay, so that did the trick and now we're just going to spin them around here so you can see the nice taper. 
Looks like we're gradually shorter to longer. In front, as I said before, we have a, a visual blend, but not a technical blend. And then starting from behind the ear, now we're technically blended. Got the nice taper at the bottom, everything fits in. And then on the opposite side, on the part side, uh, the client doesn't like his hair shaved all the way up to the part, so we have it more straight up and down. So again, very important, we want to make sure that uh, when we style it, this type of hair, we dried it all straight forward, we dried it to the side, then we dried it back, then we used the, that heavy water-soluble pomade, we rubbed it in our hands good, got it through the hair right down to the roots, and used a wide tooth comb to comb it through properly. And then you have the look that's going to last uh, for the whole day once that pomade hardens up.